as promised, I'd like to introduce the proprietor of the Tom Zombie Festival, Mr. Silas Grundy, who will reveal what was recently discovered right here on the grounds of the London Roundhouse during its multi-million dollar renovation. Silas? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> My name is Silas Grundy, and I'd like to tell you about the proof. Yes, the proof that has been discovered upon this very ground, within the walls of this very building behind me. Evidence that Tom Zombie nearly ravaged this fair city in 1887, the very year this state-of-the-art facility was being built. Little known by the people of today is the story of Bernard Yacut, a man who lost his wife in the Queen Victoria ferry accident in 1881. A tragic event that occurred on the Thames just outside of Springbank Park, taking the lives of over 182 Londoners. He was an employee of Richard Maurice Buck, superintendent of the London Asylum for the Insane during the year of 1887. As part of Bernard's duties, he was sent to St. Thomas to help investigators determine the cause of a horrible train accident which had just occurred there, wiping out the entire downtown core and killing or maiming hundreds. What was long suspected, but is now known because of this discovery, is that when he returned from his mission, he didn't return alone. He was followed by agents of the Order of the Ten, who were tasked with discovering whether Bernard had indeed found the artifact of power at the center of the Tom Zombie Curse, the Tremeric Bell. The pocket watch and page from Bernard's personal journal discovered hidden within the walls of this roundhouse show without a doubt that he had indeed found the bell and that he was slowly being driven mad by its dark power. Anxious to hide the thing from those that sought to steal it from him, he hid it here. And it is here where the Tom Zombie incident of 1887 nearly took place. What would have happened, we wonder, if Buck and others had not been able to stem the tide of this very spot? How many more would have perished under the iron thumb of an undead army, unleashed as part of Tom Zombie's century-old vendetta against all the realms developed under Colonel Thomas Talbot? We can only speculate. What we know now is that because of the work undertaken by what was then called the Order of Ten and is now known as the Tom Zombie Historical Society, our region of this world is kept safe year after year through a tool, a mechanism, if you will, called the Tom Zombie Festival. Through its contest and its adherence to the contract of ales, seen to by uh, this good fellow beside me, the ringmaster, we protect these lands and make sure that never again will the likes of a Tom Zombie minion rob a mother of a child or a son of a father. Through their good works, we are all kept safe. All you need to do is attend. September 27th at the Elgin County Railway Museum. <laughs> it's a festival to die for. <laughs> Thank you. 